So I have just filmed a live stream from over in Sea Yacht and Sacoma and I asked in that live stream where else you'd like me to film while I'm over on the east coast of the islands. Now I do have some subscribers that are staying over here in Calamalore and as you know I've been following the hotel renovations that have been taking place over here at the, the Hip Hotels Playa for the Menco Hotel and also the impact that they are having on the neighbouring Pro Tour Calamalore Playa Hotel too. So I've got a, a little bit of time here I thought I'd just take a quick walk around the lower end of Calamalor Resort just to see how the works are getting on and also checking out about the opening time as well of this hotel over here and also to check out the approximate opening date as well whether it's still on time for opening on, on the 31st of May. So just turning the camera around here now look you can see that the works are still well underway and it also looks like there's quite a lot to do i'm not quite sure what all this scaffolding here is on the side maybe anyone in the construction industry can let me know it looks like they may actually be painting the, the outside of the hotel it's a little bit hard to tell actually but anyway come on let's walk down the side of the hotel so the renovations that took place over here have been quite extensive. They've practically entirely rebuilt the hotel. And last time I was down here, well, they had a pro projected opening date for the end of May. But my goodness me, it looks like I'm walking down what is going to be the swimming pool side of the hotel, quite possibly, I'm not sure. And it doesn't look anywhere near ready. And just looking to my right here, look, I can see they have some restaurants open. I do feel a little bit sorry for them over here. If you are over here on holiday, make sure you come and support some of these wonderful restaurants. And I, I can see, I think we've got a, uh, a curry house here. How fantastic. As well as some other restaurant options right across the road. Okay, so just coming down this side of the hotel here, we can see just how much work still needs to be done down here at the Hotel Flamingo. And what a shame as well for all the restaurants that run down the side of this hotel. Hopefully the works are going to be completed soon. But the good thing with these restaurants as well is that they are in a really good location for all the other hotels in the area. And there are many hotels in the area as well. So make sure you take a walk down here too if you're coming out for dinner as well. Because don't forget that these works are going to stop at around 6 p.m. as well. So if you are coming out to eat you're not going to have the building noise as well so make sure you support the local businesses that's all I have to say here but looking at the website for the for the hip hotels for the Playa of Flamenco you will remember back in March we took a look at the booking site it said the hotel was going to be open on the 31st of May it's not 31st of May is a couple of weeks away and it's not going to be open in time we can clearly see that I've had a look on the website and it looks like the hotel is going to be opening in mid-June so fingers crossed if you have a booking before then obviously I assume that you've been contacted to, and be told that you can't actually come out and stay during that time um, however let's see as well going on into June if it's going to be opening up I will be back down here very soon to make some more content so don't forget to consider subscribing if you haven't done so already but for now we're going to keep walking along the seafront here we're going to go and check out and just see maybe down that side of the hotel it's looking a little bit more done but anyway come on let's go and have a look but from what I can see as well, look right on the end of the, the hotel, they've added an extra section with some extra sea view rooms too. So you're going to have a lot more allocation here, which is just as well because, well, accommodation's been incredibly hard to find this summer. But it looks like most of the rooms here on this hotel are going to have that sea view. Anyway, come on, let's keep walking along the waterfront. If you are staying in this area as well, look, you're just paces away from the beach. It gets a little bit rocky outside the Hotel Flamenco. But I don't think that's a problem. Look, you've even got some sunbed rentals down here too. So while I am down here, we're going to keep walking as well past the Flamenco and the Pro Tour. We're going to take a look at the Beach Club as well, which I heard was going to be renovated this summer. We're going to see at what stage that's at too. Hopefully that's going to be finished for the summer as well for, for peak season for you guys coming over here on holiday. But anyway, come on, let's, let's keep going. So just looking down the side of the hotel here, you can see a lot of the rooms look like they've been almost finished actually. 
a lot of work has been done, but it's just all these building materials that are out here in the yard as well. And just wondering what else they're going to be doing to the, the front of this hotel and what is actually causing the hold up for this hotel to be finished. So if you have stayed over here recently, I don't know if anyone's watching the channel, if you have stayed over here in the Pro Tour um, Calamalore Playa Hotel, let me know your experience. Please let us know in comments below because obviously we've got a lot of holiday makers who are coming over and they want to know what the noise is like with these, with these ongoing building works too. But if you do have a booking with a tour operator, as I have said in the past, then they do have to tell you if there are building works taking place right beside the hotel. So they will give you the option as well whether to move or not or whether um, to keep your booking. So just look out for that email. I'm sure the hotel here, the Hotel Flamenco, is doing its absolute best to try and finish building works before we hit June. So anyone coming over in the next few weeks, contact your tour operator, see what your options are as well. And um, hopefully we'll get some comments below this video from anyone who has stayed over here and can let us know what it's like. Okay, so just coming up the beach here, just giving you a few nice views of the beach, but we're just coming up to the old um, Cafe Del Mar beach bar over here and works have not started although I do see a skip just over here in the distance I don't know whether that's going to be linked with this development now I'm a little bit surprised because I thought that um, the works would have started on this development now but obviously not right now as we can see it looks like absolutely nothing's been done to it let's hope they now hold back uh, the building works until next year I don't think this part of Calamalore really needs another building site Let's have a quick look round the corner. Let's make sure those works over at the All Sun have been completed now too. So we've just come up to the area where we saw the huge building works over here back in March. I'm outside the Calamalore Park. I'm outside the All Sun Hotel. And check this out. So look, they have built a recreation area, which is super nice if you, you're coming over here with kids. Got a nice little sandy park here, little kids park. In fact, it looks like a little um, mini gym as well. You can see some balance beams, a few monkey bars as well, which is really good because I wasn't actually expecting that. I didn't expect that there's actually improved this area or put like a little play area. We've also got some seating around here as well, which looks very nice too, plus some artwork. But look, the whole area now has been cleaned up. They've replanted the grass. It's looking all good outside these hotels, which is fantastic to see. So we're just coming up the back here of the Protol Calamillor Hotel. We're just gonna have a quick look down the back of the Playa Flamenco, just from a, another angle. And while it does look very, very almost finished and just painted down this side here and on this side, it does seem to be the front and the right-hand side that's sort of awaiting the the remainder of the works too. And yes, and also in front as well, you can see this other construction that's taking place. Maybe it's a dining room, who knows? It'd be great to see inside though when it is, is actually done and dusted. Let's see if we can have a look in the future. Okay, everyone, I hope this video proved useful if you're hoping to come over here to Calamalore in the coming weeks. Now, we should see an end to this building site. I really hope we do so I can stop videoing it and concentrate on other things. But um, I know it's important to you if you're coming over and you're staying particularly at the Pro Tour um, Hotel as well. I know you want to see how this construction site is getting on. Indeed, as well, if you have a booking over here too. But I will be back here. I'll be back here very soon to actually make some content over in Calamalore and in Calabona too so please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already and you can also find me on the Facebook group and on my Instagram also called Mallorca Under the Sun and appearing here on YouTube you can check out the live stream that I filmed over in Sacoma and Ciliot too check that out and I look forward to seeing you on the next video goodbye for now